So we're going to lay long on our mat, nice and flat. What I want you guys to focus on for a minute while you're laying here is are our ribs reaching for the sky right now or is our back flat? Check in for a moment. Do you have a big arch in your spine while you're laying there? If you do, I want you to use your elbows. She's going to do it right here and try to walk some length into your body. All right, so imagine that I'm coming around behind you. I'm coming up under your shoulders and I'm pulling you long here. I want you to think we're getting as long as we can. We're not going to mash our low back to the floor. We want to maintain that natural low curve, but we want to be thinking length through the body so that these ribs are going to start to reach for the floor with every inhale. So we're set up. Let's bring the legs together now. Slide them together. Pull the toes toward your face. As you pull the toes up, look for a uniform feel from pinky toes to big toes all the way across, pull towards your face. We're going to separate the heels ever so slightly. As you do it, I want everyone to look to feel that hips rotate towards center. Inside thighs get to rotate and squeeze. You're looking for that subtle degree of internal rotation. Let's lengthen through the back neck, chin back, chest up. So right now, with nothing else to think about, the inside thighs are hugging, the toes are pulling towards your face, the heels are reaching away from you, the crown of your head is reaching opposite the heels. Let's bring the hands into measuring sticks. Pinkies come to the top of the pelvis, thumbs come to the low ribs, you're going to pull the elbows wide to the sides. As you draw the elbows wide, see if you can feel the shoulders nice and broad across the floor. You're going to focus now on a few in the nose, very slow inhalations to expand the rib cage. Even slower, engaging the abdominal exhales, lengthening. As you inhale, slow and controlled, feel the back of your rib cage expand across the floor. As you exhale, you maintain all that space, engaging the abdominal, lower, middle, and upper abdominal. Let's go one more here. Squeeze the thighs, pull the toes towards your face. Think of reaching, lengthening everything out. Relax everything down for a moment, shake it out, and just check in. The purpose of this morning routine is to check in where we are as we're waking up and we're working to connect all the dots. Now, I'm going to have GC show it first. I want you guys to watch for a second. Bring your legs together. We're going to lift the right leg up from the hip joint. He's going to internally rotate. Watch his leg turn in and he's going to set it down. Now his left leg is going to come up. He internally rotates at the hip joint. He sets the leg down. Now his focus is with the toes pulled up, he hugs the inside thighs. So we set that internal rotation. He's going to turn his hands over so the palms are for the sky. He's going to work to push every fingernail into the floor. As he does that, thumb to pinky, he's thinking about the shoulders are reaching for the floor. He's lengthening through the crown of the head. Now you're going to meet us here. Toes are pulling up. Inside thighs are hugging. You're pushing pinky to thumb, every finger into the floor. The shoulders are wide across the floor. You're lengthening through the back neck. This should be work in and of itself. Let's take a nice, expansive decompression breath. Think about breathing space between the shoulder blades on the inhale. Exhale, engage the abdominal. Breathe and expand wide between the shoulders. Exhale, engage the abdominal. Are you still keeping all 10 fingers down? As you focus on the breath, are you still hugging, rotating those inside thighs? Are your glutes relaxed, inner thighs hugging? Hips should feel like they're wrapping towards the groin. Toes are still pulling. One more, all the focus now goes into the breath. Feel the rib cage expand wide across the floor. As you exhale, the abdominal engages. I want everyone to think now you're going to suddenly try to palm a basketball with each hand and invigorate through the fingertips. As you do that, think of shrugging the shoulders down away from the ears and squeezing a sheet of paper in each armpit. 
Can you feel tension under the arm, into your lats, across the back? Use that tension to slowly scoop up, slowly, really slow. You're going to slowly turn the palms towards each other over your heart. And the moment they're about to touch, don't let the fingers touch. They're going to hover one inch apart. The fingertips are trying to touch. The back of the palms are trying to pull the hands apart. Can you find that tension into the lats and under the arms? Are we hugging the inside thighs? Are we pulling the toes? Are we breathing and expanding slow and controlled? Slowly let the fingertips win and bring all 10 fingertips together. Check in, expand across the back of the ribs wide to the floor. Float the hands up over your head. Once the hands go up, we shrug those shoulders down wide. We breathe space between the shoulder blades. We check in. Toes are pulling towards our face. Thighs are hugging. Hips are wrapping towards center. Rib cage is expanding space across the floor. Fingertips are squeezing. At the end of your next exhale, let everything go. Shake it off for a second. 